Don't be so quick to sign away your publishing. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to sign with a record label ever again. My name's Chris, also known as Manifest from Smart Music Business, over a half a million monthly listeners on Spotify, and I want to explain publishing and really just break it down so you can understand that, look, one song can generate so much income, so you don't want to be just signing away your publishing to some label. Now, when you write a song with somebody, all right, and if you're the artist, there's a good chance, unless you've signed to somebody or you're part of a label, you own the master side, okay? You own the master, you own the recording, all right? But if you wrote it with somebody else, then there's the publishing side, right? Whoever is the songwriter on the song, so you wrote it with somebody else, so normally you would split the publishing 50-50. Now, if you have another writer come in, and now it's split three ways, so normally how I do it is um, I keep 34 for myself and 33-33, and sometimes, you know, whatever the deal is, if you're a really big artist and it's kind of like an opportunity for new writers to get involved, then you can, you know, split the publishing however you want. You could do, you know, 60 for you and 40 for the other person, or you could do 60 for you and 20-20. It all depends on what your relationship is with the person, but you understand your publishing is worth something. Every time somebody streams your music on Spotify or Apple Music, you have the master royalty that is generated, which is actually a bigger portion of the royalty, all right? The master is the m most important side, but then you can't forget about the publishing side, okay, for you as a writer. So these are the two different income streams that are generated every single time somebody streams the song, buys it, downloads it, all right? You've got the master side, right, the recording, but then you've got the publishing. And then that publishing is split between who you wrote the song with. But you got to understand, it goes more than just streaming on iTunes and Apple Music and on Spotify, YouTube. What about when it's streamed on the radio, right? You, you got the radio royalties from that and the publishing is split between the writers, all right? And the labels don't want you to think about this. What about when you get it in a TV film placement? All right, we got a big $60,000 plus placement for a song, and because I owned the master side of it, that 60,000 got split right in half, and I got 30 of that right off the bat because I owned the master, and then that other 30,000 was split between the songwriters. So say I wrote it with three other people, that means I'd get 10,000, they'd get 10,000, and the other guy would get 10,000. Now they would split three ways because I wrote the song with three other people. Well, if it was just two other people, all right, well then it would get that 30,000 would be split, I'd get 15,000, they'd get the other 15,000, okay? So now we're starting to see all the different income streams coming from one song and from publishing. But I want you to see how important the master is. When you start to get radio play and even on um, uh, internet satellite radio like Sirius XM and you've registered your songs at, on Sound Exchange, right? That's where they collect internet and radio royalties for you there. Um, the master side of the royalty, okay? That's a much bigger royalty than the publishing. All right, publishing is extremely important though. You don't want to just be giving that away, especially if you've written on other people's songs. What's so cool about that by you writing on other people's songs and it gets in TV and film or it gets on radio, you're not the one marketing it. You're not the one promoting it. You're not the one spending all this, this money and time effort. You just were in the one you know, studio session. You wrote the song, you were a part of it, and then it blows up and it continues to pay money. But of course, you got to make sure somebody is collecting that money on your behalf. Okay, so that's where you might want to have a publishing administrator. Okay, and there's a company called Song Trust that does that for a lot of independent artists to make sure that they collect all the monies that are owed to you, especially if you wrote on a song. All right, you want to make sure you have somebody collecting that money for you. Don't just assume the label is going to make sure that you get the money or some random artist, indie artist that you worked with a long time ago is going to get your money. You want to make sure that it's getting collected, the pub is getting collected because it starts to add up. And I'll never forget the president of SoCan saying to me, like, Chris, songwriting is the gift that keeps on giving. Don't just give that away. I remember when I signed a deal with a label a long time ago, and we blew up in Japan. And the label already had rights to the master, so they're already making a ton of money off, of, off the master side of it. But what's so cool is it was a licensing deal, so eventually I got my albums back. 
but it was really interesting. Um, when I signed with them, it was just a licensing deal, so they didn't have any percentage to my publishing. And it's amazing. I'll never forget uh, hearing a, a, a label, hearing a story about a label who said, yeah, let's just sign a bunch of artists and let's just take their publishing. You know, let's take a piece of their publishing. And they, already they're getting a big chunk of the master, like 80% of it, but then they start getting into the artist's writing. Like, that's starting to get into some like 360 deal kind of stuff. But um, you don't want to be giving that stuff away. And I'll never forget when we were starting to sell like 10,000 albums a week in Japan, all of a sudden my phone's blowing up and emails. I'm getting sent emails from like the label, the A&R saying, hey, Chris, we want to sign you to a full deal now, and we want a piece of your publishing, um, but we'll do this, 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 and this, and they're trying to get me to sign my publishing away, and let me tell you, I'm so glad I didn't sign that publishing away, because that ended up adding up to thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, all right? So I want to encourage you, stay independent, work with people like a publishing admin to administrate your publishing, but you're never giving away ownership of it, okay? There's a big difference because you want to make sure that you have all these income streams coming in. What happens when the song does blow up on radio? What happens when you, you, you do um, get a big TV film placement and all these different things? And this is why you want to, first of all, control your master. Second of all, you want to control your publishing and as much as you want. But I'll leave you with this though. Don't be cheap when it comes to getting in writing rooms with people. Don't try and take all the publishing be generous at the same time, especially if there's a person in there, whether it's a producer or another songwriter, that can make your song better. I've always been super generous with my publishing and working with other artists. If they're going to help me to make that song 10 times better so more people hear it, then of course I'm going to make sure I share the publishing and be generous. Because I don't want to ruin a relationship and then not be able to work with someone who helped me to make a hit song. Why would I ever do that? So you want to make sure you're always being cool and generous with people. Hey music artist, it looks like you haven't downloaded a copy of my book Spotify Profits yet, showing you how I got 12.2 million streams and 100,000 followers on Spotify without a record label and without having to go on tour anymore. This thing reads like a magazine. It's going to show you how to hack that Spotify algorithm, how to release your songs in order so that you get the best chance of getting on those editorial playlists, how I collaborate with other artists, but most importantly, how to build that email list so that you can monetize your music. This will work for any genre, works wherever you live, does not matter. We live in a global singles economy and now is your time to grow your Spotify following. Click the link in this video to download a copy today.